And with migrants still being out on the streets and at shelters still at capacity, the need for more vacant spaces has become a necessity here in El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Alea Taylor is live in central El Paso with more of those details. Alea. Good evening, Andy. Yes, I'm currently in central El Paso, where the previous vacant uh, vacant middle school, Bassett Middle School, is now being used as a temporary shelter for those migrant families that are still seeking asylum. Now, previous today, um, the city of El Paso reported that 100 migrants were out already processing in the facility, and moving forward, they should be processing more. Last week, we reported that Bassett Middle School, along with Moorhead Middle School in El Paso, would be using the two current vacant middle schools as temporary shelters for migrants who've recently crossed the border into El Paso. Today, Bassett Middle School has opened the once renowned vacant middle school to migrant families that are still awaiting asylum processing and needing adequate, uh, adequate and efficient shelter as they wait for Title 42 and traveling accommodations. Now, this stems from the need of providing migrants with the necessary food and shelter, which El Paso also has become the mission to provide since shelters have reached their capacity. We want the community to, under, to understand this facility right here, Bassett, is for family units. These are people who've been processed by CBP and Border Patrol. They're awaiting their transportation to their final destinations, wherever that might be. They, they have their own means. It's just waiting for the travel system to open up so they can get a flight out or a bus to their location. Now, residents coming in contact with seeing migrants have also sparked some concerns, but it has been assured that security will be on site 24-7. <clears throat> now, explained further, uh, migrants that have also voiced their concerns have also been told through emails and on uh, previous mailings that they will be able to address any concerns or any comments with um, a recommended number, which you can find on our website at ktsm.com. Live in Central El Paso, Alea Taylor, back to you, Andy.